Hi there, I'm here with Dr. Farah Faisal, who is the High Commissioner of Maldives. Now, you had a meeting here tonight in the House of Commons. Um, how do you think it went and what were you discussing? I think it went very, very well. Actually, we were discussing uh, the problems Maldives face in its struggle to establish democracy and the challenges and the support we have from the uh, Britain and the you know, government and the parliamentarians and the people. So we were all in all discussing the emerging democracy in the Maldives. What kind of, because a lot of people look at Maldives and say, oh, Maldives is, you know, a tourist destination. Can you highlight some of the problems that have been occurring over the last, you know, 30 odd years? Well, for 30 years we had an autocratic ruler, uh, you know, um, who was the one man, uh, in, a, in a way powerful one man uh, rule. And in 2008, we were able to have our first multi-party democracy. And now our current leader is President Nasheed, who was himself formerly an activist, who tried uh, his best to bring democracy to the Maldives and was jailed 13 times for that. So, wow. So now that it's coming up, what can we do? What can the British people do to support you? Because obviously I'm very passionate about supporting you. I myself was ignorant about the Maldives until I met you lovely self at an event earlier on this year so what can we do to make people more aware and you know what can we do to support you I think one way uh, you know to look at it is that we need um, help with our young people so um, you know peer-to-peer -peer, uh, you know support uh, in this day and age with the internet you know it can be very easily done and uh, because a large percentage of our population is very young and uh, the good thing is that you know uh, the good thing in the sense that about communication is that in the Maldives the medium of instruction in school is English so I think uh, one way would be to set up a peer-to-peer -peer network of young people here in, in Britain and with the young people in the Maldives so that I mean one of the biggest challenges we face is global warming and sea level rise and for the young people here in Britain they will understand that there are real friends out there who is going to suffer from what they may do here in Britain and the young people in the Maldives will understand that you know there are people out there in Britain young people like themselves who do care for what their future is going to be. And I think that would be something that would be very great uh, to help uh, the youngsters. Well, hopefully Third World Solidarity and yourself can work in partnership to, to do something. Thanks for your time.